We are going to predict the products and calculate the voltage necessary for the electrolysis of an FeCl2 iron chloride solution. The first thing that we want to do in this process is identify all of the components of this solution. We're going to have iron 2 plus ion, we're going to have the chloride ion, we will have water, and then also due to the dissociation of water, the auto ionization of water, we're going to have a little bit of H plus and a little bit of OH minus as well. The next thing that we want to do is identify all of the possible reactions that could take place with these particular substances. We're gonna be consulting a table of half reactions that are listed or written currently as reductions. So the first thing that we're going to do is go through this table and look for all of the possible reduction reactions. These are gonna be the reactions that have the reactants, any combination of these particular substances right here. Um, so I'm going through this and it looks like the first one that I find is this reaction right here that has Fe2+. We have Fe2+. So this is a possible um, reduction reaction. I'm going to copy this reaction down. I'm going to be leaving the states off just to save space. Fe2 plus plus two electrons to make Fe solid. And then while we're here in this table, I'm going to copy the voltage for that down as well. The voltage for this is negative 0.447. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Um, we have the H plus ion, so let's copy that down. 2H plus plus 2 electrons makes H2, and this is our standard hydrogen electrode, so this is the one where the voltage is zero. And then let's see what else we have. It looks like the next reaction, we have that because we do have water. So 2H2O plus 2 electrons makes H2 and 2OH minus. And that voltage is negative 0.8277. And then let's see if there are any others. We're looking for Fe or Cl ions, water or H plus or OH minus. It looks like that's it. So these are all of our possible reduction reactions. Now let's go through and find all of our oxidation reactions. The oxidation reactions, those are the reverse of a reduction reaction. So we're gonna be looking at this table of half reactions, this time focusing on the products. The products of a reduction reaction are the reactants of an oxidation reaction because the reactions just occur in reverse. So first one I see is this Cl2. This is a possible oxidation reaction because we have chloride ions. And we're gonna be writing this as an oxidation reaction, so we are writing it in reverse. Um, two Cl minus makes Cl2 and two electrons. And let's get the voltage. For that it is 1.35827 and let's see what else we can find um oops chromium copper oh i'm looking on the wrong side we want to be looking on the products side uh here's an fe2 plus reaction we do have the fe2 plus ion so we could add this to our list Fe2 plus makes Fe3 plus and an electron. And that voltage is 0.771. And let's see what else we can find. Uh, we have a uh, water 2H2O. 2H2O. makes H2O2, 2H plus, and two electrons. And that voltage is 1.776. And again, I'm just going through looking at all of these products, looking for um, products where we have all, all of the products. Here's another one, another water, 2H2O makes O2, 
for H plus and for electrons. That voltage is 1.229. And we've got at least one more. We have this for OH minus because we do have OH minus. And that is going to make O2, 2H2O, and four electrons. And that voltage is 0 0.401. And hopefully that was it. That's a lot of them. Okay, so those are all of our half reactions, all of our possible reductions and oxidations. Only one of these reactions will occur. Only one of these reactions will occur. Our next job is to figure out which one actually happens. When we have a lot of different possible reductions and a lot of different possible oxidations, the first thing that we're going to do in the process of eliminating them is to get rid of the ones that are not very likely to take place due to small quantities of those reactants. In this situation, the only source of H plus and OH minus comes from the auto ionization of water, which means that we only have a tiny amount of H plus and a tiny amount of OH minus. And because of that, we're just going to eliminate them uh, as being not possible half reactions. Of all the rest of them, we have a lot of these substances, the ions and also the water. There's plenty of all of those things available. So the next thing that we're going to do of the remaining reduction reactions is select the one that is the most um, thermodynamically easy, meaning that it has a voltage closest to zero. Not the lowest voltage, but the voltage that's closest to zero. So that's going to be this point, negative 0.447. This is the most likely reduction reaction. And then we're going to do the same thing down here with all of our oxidations. We're going to choose the one that has voltage closest to zero. So that's going to be the 0 0.0771 reaction. These are the two most likely half reactions to take place. The next thing that we'll do is put these two half reactions together. So we have our oxidation Fe2 plus plus two electrons makes Fe. And then we also have our um, oxidation, I think I said oxidation the first time on accident, we have our reduction, and now we have our oxidation, Fe2 plus makes Fe3 plus plus electrons. And we want to combine these two half reactions to make one overall reaction. In order to do that, we need to have the same number of electrons in each. So that means we want to take our second reaction and multiply all of the stoichiometric coefficients by two so that we can combine these together. When we combine them together, our reactants are going to be Fe2 plus plus 2E minus plus 2Fe2 plus. Those are all of the reactants. And our products will be Fe plus 2Fe3 plus plus 2 electrons. And now we just want to simplify. We can cross the electrons off from both sides because we have them present on both sides. We can also combine this Fe2 plus. Uh, I'm just going to cross this one off and I'm going to change this coefficient to a three. So this is our overall reaction. Three Fe2 plus makes Fe and two Fe3 plus. The last thing that we need to do is calculate the voltage of this half reaction. E cell for an electrolytic cell is calculated the same way as it is for, for a galvanic cell, cathode minus anode. Red cat reminds us that their reduction um, is taking place at the cathode. So that means we want to start with the voltage for our reduction reaction, 0.447, and we want to subtract the voltage at our anode, our oxidation, 0.771. And remember that because this is an electrolytic cell, not a galvanic cell, we are going to end up with a negative voltage. This is a reaction that requires electricity, not produces electricity. So this tells us that this reaction requires 1.218 volts.